Samsung is so back. If the first beta One UI 7 just dropped, and this is probably, scratch that, this is the biggest One UI update ever. Remember when Experience UI became One UI, it was huge, but I'm talking on similar lines. This is Rupesh, you're watching Silicon, what are you doing? Subscribe already, and I'm going to talk about all the One UI 7 changes, all the great ones, all the controversial ones, all the inspired ones. You know what? Let's go. Okay, you know what? Let's keep things simple. Let's start with the home screen. And the first thing you'll notice in the home screen are the newer icons. See, every single stock Samsung icon has been refreshed, be it the camera, settings, phone, gallery, etc. And they do look nicer, much needed update because the icons were starting to look kind of old. The second big change you'll notice on the home screen are the new widgets. First up, the widgets panel now looks more modern with some recommended widgets up top in a nice clean UI. And more Samsung widgets have been updated. For example, see the battery widget or you know, the camera widget or gallery. And you will notice that there are way more size options because now you can just resize any widget like this. I know, kind of reminds me of iOS, but I don't mind that. And what's even more awesome is that every single widget is now more customizable individually. I mean, see the weather widget, this has different shapes you can choose from. This clock widget has different styles of clock you can choose from. The sleep mode widget lets you change the mode. Yeah, One UI 7 is taking widgets way more seriously, and I love that. Anyway, another scene before feature that One UI 7 brings is the ability to enlarge folders like this. Inspired, yes, but at the end of the day, useful. Now that's not all, in the home screen settings, there's a new app and widget style option, and this lets you resize app icons finally, and you now have an option to hide app labels and widget labels. Yep, we have seen this before, but again, great for Samsung users. Next up is the app drawer, and One UI 7 brings a new feature to the app drawer that I've been waiting for a long, long time now. I mean, you can now go to the app drawer, which by the way has the search and the three dot menu button right at the bottom, way more handy, especially on the ultras. And here, when you set the app sorting to alphabetical, the app drawer goes vertical. Yes, finally, but what if I want alphabetical, but horizontal? Uh, maybe it's a beta thing. Next up, all the leaks showed off the One UI 7's quick settings page as the big new feature. So let's talk about that now. So this is actually interesting. First up, in a big move, the notifications and quick settings are separated, divorced. Swipe down from anywhere for notifications, swipe from the right top to open the quick settings, and yeah, you can switch between them like this. Thankfully, there is an option here inside panel settings which lets you go back to the combined notification plus quick settings panel, but that's not the interesting part. The interesting part is this quick settings page. Yes, it's got a new, more modern look with more rounded corners. Even the notifications look more modern with these rounded corners. Anyway, coming back to the quick settings page, it's way more customizable. I mean, I would have liked an option to add more panels here, like say iOS, but you can rearrange these panels the way you like. You can obviously edit the tiles here and you no longer have to swipe sideways. Swipe down and you have all the tiles like this. The music panel also looks good and I like how it lets you play the last played song if nothing's playing. I also like this new volume panel here which lets you mute your phone, set it to vibrate and you can press hold on it for more options. And by the way, the brightness panel has the dark mode option on the side and long pressing it brings you more options like auto brightness. But the best part, turning off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is no longer a tedious two-step process. Now the next one is probably the coolest looking feature of One UI 7. I'm talking about this now bar. Yes, that's the name, now bar. The bar is now, the bar is now, now. You can't see me. See in One UI 7, when you say play music, you can see the now bar in the lock screen with the music controls. You can tap on it for bigger previews like this. And this also works with other live activities like timer, voice recordings, workouts. And I like how you can swipe here to switch between these different activities on the lock screen. And I also noticed that these live activities also show up in the status bar and tapping on them gives you more controls. Now it's an interesting implementation. It looks cool, but we can all agree that in terms of naming, dynamic island, now bar, I'm not sure. One UI 7 also brings an updated camera app and this is big because we use the camera every single day. I mean, first up, look at how clean the camera app looks in One UI 7 compared to One UI 6 and that's because all the controls are now here in this panel. So you can access them only when you need it. They are not in your face. And this has all the usual features, but one new addition is exposure control. I mean, you can still control the exposure by tapping on the viewfinder, but this is easier. And the best part, it remembers your exposure settings for each mode, be it photo mode or video portrait. And you can see it like this in the viewfinder. How cool is this? Now that's all, even the UI in the pro mode and pro video mode has been updated to look cleaner. 
and there are a couple of handy camera features too. This option lets you record videos while music is being played on your phone. Great for, you know, shooting those dance reels that you deny watching. I mean, let's just check the explore page, shall we? Dekhte ho pakka. Tum pa pakka hai. Explore page karna. My explore page is all cricket. There's also a new composition guide option that lets you enable the grid lines and levels and yeah, it's very useful. To honestly, the visual changes in One UI 7 are not done. There's way more. For example, look at the new Resense AK multitasking screen. Yep, it's got a new cool sort of 3D look and I like this. There's also icons now along with the label in the bottom bar of some apps. The lock screen customization has a couple of new animated clock styles. I also like how notifications are bundled in the left corner of the lock screen. The setting search now shows you these topics to help you find stuff better. You have great changes all around and One UI 7 also catches up against the competition in terms of animations. Just look at it, everything looks way better. Be it something like opening apps or you know opening an app from a widget and then going back to the home screen or going to the home screen from sleep, everything is so smooth. It's a big difference coming from One UI 6. And yes, some animations still look clunky, but again, this is the first beta. Also, there's new animations. Just look at the new charging animation on the lock screen. And even the home screen charging animation is so cool. Now, what's an update in 2024 without some AI, right? Now, Cradle's new One UI 7 beta only brings two big AI features and both of them are actually handy. First is call transcript, just enable this and if you have call recording turned on, the AI will automatically transcribe your calls for you. So no more taking notes, but yeah, AI is probably listening to your calls. Writing assist is also getting better. Now you can just select a text or, you know, press hold anywhere and you have the Galaxy AI icon. So you can use any of these tools. You can change the writing style, check grammar, summarize anything. And this works everywhere. This is so useful. To apart from all the big stuff, One UI 7 brings a lot of minor yet meaningful changes. So let me just wrap things up real quick. You can now group alarms together so people who like setting multiple alarms in a span of five minutes, first you're irritating and second, good for you. The gallery app now lets you create free form collages now. There's a new blockchain based security feature called Knox Matrix which makes sure all your devices monitor each other for security. One UI 7 also brings new interesting ecosystem features but those aren't live in this beta just yet. To coin all, it's pretty clear that One UI 7 is one major update. Yes, it's not all original ideas, but the fact of the matter is it looks modern, nice, it feels fresh, brings some big features, some much awaited changes. And yeah, I think Samsung fans are gonna love this. I mean, let's face it, when One UI initially launched after, you know, the whole experience UI, it was so good, so modern. But after all these years, One UI had started to kind of look outdated. So this was a much needed update and I think Samsung nailed it. So Nothing OS 3 was great, I think Oxygen OS 15 was really good and now One US 7 is here, it's awesome. So Google... <laughs> Android 16 is like what? Two features? Okay, three. Anyway, what do you guys think of the new One US 7 update? Comment down below and yeah, if you still haven't subscribed, I mean...